How good can this be? Oh shit. Good day fellow warmongers, sobriety advocates and part-time vegans. As has been established by us and most other VR connoisseurs, the stock strap of the three piece and a soda solution of modern VR, uh, that's the Oculus Quest 2, leaves a lot to be desired and should be expelled to the nearest bin for immediate waste is Postal. Of course you already know all about the great alternatives out there, ranging from the budget-friendly and surprisingly comfortable Ellie Choo Choo Halo Strap, all the way to the more expensive, super comfortable, extremely immersive sounding Deluxe Audio Strap, originally conceived as an upgrade for the HTC Vive. But today is another day and today we'll take a look at the 20 plus 15 equals 35 Quest 2 Head Strap Solution! <gasps> Let's go. <laughs> Before we dive into whether this solution is any good, let's have a look at the contraption itself and what it is actually comprised of. If you're familiar with the official Quest 2 Elite Strap, you may or may not be able to mm, spot a certain resemblance here, but let's just chalk it up to pure coincidence, shall we? Given the official Elite Strap's less than stellar reputation at this point, you probably want to know if this particular $20 Elite Strap knockoff is any less prone to premature snapping cracking or outright exploding of your face. While I can't say much about its long-term durability, the material used for the adjustable portion of the strap feels a lot less flimsy than its official 50 euro counterpart, which at the very least seems to bode well for long-term use. Um, the other half of the $35 equation is a pair of attachable 15 egg headphones, which neatly attached to the side of the strap via these adapters. The material feels smooth and rugged and they simply click in place. Although simple wasn't my first thought when I tried to push them in place using more force than I really felt comfortable with. Once in place there really is no reason at all to ever take them off again. So how good is this strap slash audio solution really? Let's start with the head strap as this is the one thing that unfortunately really needs upgrading if you want to be able to properly enjoy your quest too. At least now a vast and profound opinion. Much like the Halo strap reviewed by my brother, the Elite strap comes with an up used to adjust its tension as per the instructions provided by your head. This works great and although I had my concerns initially, all thanks to a very annoying and less than encouraging squeaking sound. The issue was gone less than two hours into using the head strap. The pieces used to bridge the strap to your HMD felt a bit finicky when installing, but once properly seated, seem very, very solid. Attaching the Elite Strap to your Quest 2 is as easy as pulling off the Ghetto Strap it came with and clicking the new strap in place. Don't forget to attach the Velcro Strap on top of your melon as well. I like how the portion used to hook the Velcro Strap to your Elite Strap is a lot thicker than what's used on the Halo Strap. One of the very few concerns we actually had with that particular solution. The padding is super comfortable and while I wouldn't use the word premium, seems to be a step above the padding used on the Halo strap. Pending itself is velcroed into place so there should be ways to replace or even upgrade if need be. Two thumbs up. Now let's talk about the headphones. They definitely feel smooth and of good quality. The collar matches with the Elite Straps and the Quest 2 HMD. They are height adjustable and can be rotated, providing you with more freedom and flexibility depending on the position and shape of your ears. Unfortunately, they just don't sound very well, which of course is a problem because that should be your main concern when upgrading the audio on your Quest 2. They honestly sound worse than the stock audio, which itself isn't exactly bad to begin with, but this of course leaves little incentive for us to recommend these. They do get loud, but have almost no discernible bass and sound very tinny. You're honestly better off using a simple pair of in-ears included with your phone. 
Oh, wait, they don't do that anymore. Which are likely to sound 10 times as good. In fact, my OG Game Boy in ears probably sound better than these. And in spite of their adjustable design, I just can't seem to get them positioned quite right. But your mileage may vary, of course. The two reasons I can think of anyone would want to get them is if you're really, really looking for a cheap, integrated audio solution. And of course, their low price tag. But that's a bit like saying it's okay to pay for somebody else's diarrhea only because it's 99 cents a bucket. <laughs> What you should actually do is wait for our upcoming review of an audio solution that is actually worth your time and money. Let's just wrap things up by saying that this $35 solution really should be a $20 solution. But those are $20 truly well spent and another great upgrade from the horrendous stock strap horn that comes packed with your data subsidized Quest 2. Plus it gives you another incentive to upgrade with a price tag that sits right under the $35 halo strap. Perhaps we'll eventually get an upgraded version of these headphones at some stage, but I doubt they'd even be in the same price range. Hell, for all we know, better sounding lookalikes of these are already floating through the alley sphere. As always, thank you everyone for joining. Please like this video if it didn't derail your perfectly smooth going day. Subscribe to see more content like this and please do hit that bell icon to be notified the moment we unload our guns on the tubes. Well, that came out wrong. I mean, I mean, I didn't. I'm sorry.